anyone can turn the walk onto their patio into their very own flavour trail with everything from exotic saffron to fiery wasabi. No garden, no problem. With a range of edible houseplants, anyone can create their own indoor micro farm in the tiniest studio flat. I love the glossy green leaves of kaffir limes, indispensable for an authentic Thai green curry, or wonderful sliced and deep fried for a truly exotic twist on Bombay mix. As pretty as anything in the houseplant section, the strappy leaves of cardamom exude a rich Christmassy fragrance, like a fusion of cinnamon, cloves and, surprisingly, cardamom. Slice into salads or use as a scented foil to wrap grilled fish, their flavour will turn any humble cod fillet into an exotic beachside treat. Want to venture outdoors? Check out this little guy, wasabi. Perfect for that damp, shady corner of your plot where nothing else seems to grow. It'll shrug off anything our northern winters can throw at them, offering up a tongue-tingling harvest of green stems with a haunting herbal sweetness that's a world away from the bottled paste. They are a revelation, grated over smoked salmon, stirred into mayonnaise, or even folded into ice cream for a spicy kick. Oh yeah, weirdly hot and cold at the same time. This is, this is what I'm talking about. Ice cream for grown-ups, and a whole bowl for me. As easy to grow as a regular park lawn crocus, to which they're closely related, the pretty purple blooms of saffron offer up the world's most expensive spice, which is worth literally its weight in gold. The best thing? The antioxidant pack threads are stuffed with mood-enhancing compounds, giving you a giggly lift for up to 30 minutes. Stick a few threads in a bottle of gin for the most snigger-inducing martini known to man. Six of saffron in it, golden syrup, leave it for a little while. Want to get started? Then check out my new range at Sutton Seeds.